All right, hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Shield Isle of Armor here on the channel. And today we've got a bunch of places that we need to go take our little boy to because we got everybody was kung fu fighting, and we need to take him to a bunch of places. So the first, actually, I don't know why I closed the map. I was gonna say the first locale uh, is actually Loop Lagoon. Just right, right. Wow, phone! I forgot to do it again. Why am I always doing that to myself? Uh, but yeah, so we got Loop Lagoon to go to, which we've already been to. Uh, we also got like some Slowpoke stuff as well. Like uh, I mentioned the other day that, uh, or in one of the recordings that I mentioned, that Slowpoke, we got the band for Slowpoke that helps him evolve. But uh, yeah, we just figured out by fighting, in the last episode, we figured out by fighting Avery that the Slowpoke can uh, go to like poison type, I think. Right? It's like poison water now or something. Something crazy. I like the combination. But, uh, yeah, I don't think we've been down to this little nook since we had the quest for for Diglets. So let's just give a quick look for little Diggy Boys. Oh, my God. Whoa, whoa. You can just catch these guys now? Oh, no. That's 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 my boy running along. I forgot they stay when they're on the bike. I forgot they stay out when they were on the bike. I'm like, I thought this guy was like a pseudo-legendary, like a legendary or something. The Cub Fu. I'm like, you can just catch these boys now? <laughs> Oh, the storm is angry. Or the seas are angry. The storm is writhing. That's fine. We'll just scooch around to Loop Lagoon. We'll check all these little places for our little diggy boys. Like right here. Diggy boy. Diggy dig. What's up, baby? You need to find more diglet in the workout, see? I'm in the workout, see? Aw, oh, I can't be out here. That's burning way too many calories. I'm not sure if I'll eventually go get all the diglets or not. But you never knew. I may or may not. Uh, this is a different recording day, by the way. I had to stop recording after the last episode. And hum That was a Gyarados out of nowhere, man. A big old Gyarados out of nowhere, man. <laughs> so this is a new, uh, a new recording sesh that we have. And so we didn't. We don't have the the big. Um, Oh, what was his face? What was his big old, big old, big old bear? Big old normal, normal fighting bear. He's a big old, he's a big old bear boy. Beware. There we go. I knew I could find his name if I just kept saying things until my brain was like, I die. Do you mean I, um, I, things? And I'm like, yeah, bro, I mean things. Come on. Wait, you don't, your brain doesn't like do things? It's like, I, uh, brain has things. Yo, is that just an Alakazam just chilling there? Yo, hold up. I didn't know. I didn't know Alakazames were anywhere near here. Hold on. We gotta get a Pokemon that's good in, good against these boys. Uh, Nightingale might be fine. I think. Uh, Dorothy. Dark Souls might be good too, but Dark Souls might kill it. So let's just get Nightingale in there first. That's because I know. Let's try and catch this Alakramzam. Look at him. He's just here, man. He's just chilling. Oh, yeah, and I don't have to throw out a Pokeball because they're walking with me now. <gasps> nope. <laughs> I don't know why that was such a big wind-up for a dope. But we'll just try it. We'll just try a quick ball on this, baby. Come on now. Come on, Alakazam. Come on. I'm never going to use you because I've already used you like a hundred times during a Pokemon playthrough. But hey. Three. Three. Click. 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 Oh, hey. Oh, Alakram Zam. We don't need to trade. I love it. I love not having to trade for these Pokemon. It makes me it makes me happy. And the skies are gray. Well, maybe not in this area because we we the storm is out on the workout sea. Alakram Zam. We added the Pokedex. A pure psychic type. He wields potent psychic powers. It's said that this Pokemon used these powers to create the spoons it holds. I will not give it a nickname. We will send it to a box. Be gone, with ye. Great Pokemon that only took a quick ball. That's why quick balls are the best, you guys. Uh, never, ever, ever talk bad about a quick ball because quick balls are dope. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, whoa. I was gonna say, did I just make my my Nightingale just teleport away like super hard? Also, to be fair, Nightingale's also a dope name for a uh, a Corviknight. So. I'm a little upset, but we have to. We actually have to go and uh, pull out boy again, right? Cub Fu. Everybody was Cub Fu fighting. I love it. We have to keep walking up or something. We have to keep going up. Is that a diggy boy? No, that's just rock. 
diggy dig. Cause he's he wants to come here, yeah? Let's check the Let's check the radar. Let's see here now. Yeah, it says it's right here in Loop Lagoon, but where where to? Oh wait, don't we have to find a an NPC and talk to them? And they'll be like, hey, this is a cool spot. What is that boy? Oh, that's a little claw of us. I'm like, what is that thing? Couldn't tell what it was. It could not be here on the middle. It could be like out in the uh, the rings here. But we're just gonna make sure we didn't like run past a dude because we got distracted by an alakazam, an alakrams am. Because I I do tend to get distracted by alakrams am when I see them. I'm like, oh my god, he's so beautiful. And I want to catch. I'm like, I catch. And then I fail to catch them, and then I get upset. Octillery. A lot of good water Pokemon around here. Yeah, there's probably some diggy digs around here. Like, look at that. Bam. Diggy dig. I can see a diggy dig from 10 miles away. Four more diggy digs in this area. Oh, there was a thing behind us there. Oh, God, no sand. Uh, sand, you guys. I don't want to fight you. Because they can't. Let's see here now. Do we have anything that would be good? Aerial Ace? No. Iron Head? No. Close Combat? No. None of these would be good, so I'm just gonna run. Ha-ha! <laughs> swift! Like the wind! You must be swift as the coursing river. That's, that's basically it. That's the, whole, that's the whole Pokemon. Was there not a Glinty Glint right here that, that I circled around to get? Was there not a Glinty Boy? I thought I saw a Glinty Boy. Must have just been my bike. Ugh, my bike. Trying to tell me there's glinty boys around. And there's no glinty boys. But there is a TM right here. Psy Shock. Okay, or a TR, sorry. They're all TRs. We already have Psy Shock as a TR, though. I think you get those from raid battles like mad crazy. It's like one of the low ones you get all the time. Dive ball. I like it. I like it a lot. Although I never really use the balls a ton. Ooh, just a rare candy. I thought I saw something hiding in there. But you see that redness? How it's got like a redness hue to it? That's weird, eh? There's like a reddish tint to the inside of the log, and I thought it was something. Oh, there's another diggy boy. I knew there'd be two diggy boys on this island. It was too it was too large to have only one diggy boy. The surface area was well well able to accommodate more than a singular diggy boy. As we do. But where's my boy? Where's my boy? I thought I was supposed to find a, a person here to talk to and be like, Hey, Jimmy, you got to teach my little cubby boy here how to be a good man. He's got to learn how to be a good boy. Bag of Stardust and a Pearl String. Those are good for items. Those are good for stuff. Another diggy boy. Yeah, where are these guys? Because I thought the master said, Hey, go seek out my... My little boys, right, my, my trainers, and uh, talk to them. They'll be in spots that your cub foo might be like, Ah, oh, yes, my chi is maximum here. Oh, I think it's right there, actually. I think this is the one. I think this is the one here. Are you the trainer, perhaps, I, I should talk to you about having my little baby boy, my little baby cub boy, uh, focus his chi? Hi there, beef. You've got... To see the view from here. Come on, why don't you and Cub to enjoy the scenery? Yeah, let's do it. <gasps> ah, <laughs> look at him. He's like, ah, oh, so nice. I like it. My chi, it flows. Master Mustard should be really happy to see how well you get along. Being with your Pokemon makes everyday scenery feel brighter and more colorful, don't you think? Wait, we're best friends. Already? We only visited one spot, though. Is there is there any spots we can visit? Oh yeah, there's still three more spots. So let's um let's fly to Diggin' Paul, because that'll get us closer to the, the Dust Bowl. The Dust Bowl should be easy to find. Cubone. Peace out, little bud. I love you, but not in this playthrough. Because we can't use you. I do love using Cubone, you guys. Cubone's a, a favorite of mine. Uh, I like Marowak a lot. 
uh, Marowak is indeed good, and I like it. It is fun. Oh, yeah, hold on. Are you the are you the trainer? Hey there, Beef. You've got to see the view from here. Come on, why don't you and Kung Fu? Yeah, I will. And he's like, ah! Ah, it's so pretty. I didn't know that Overcast could be so beautiful. I love, I love. Thank you for showing me. You get along. Being with your Pokemon makes everyday scenery feel brighter and more colorful, don't you think? Yeah. Now there's some there's some uh, packet mans in here that I think we want to uh, try and get the the ripe the ripe period that we've let gestate you know ripen for a few for a few bits. Oh yeah, there's a Ponyard. What up, little boy? But where's that <gasps> crocodile? I see there is crocodile. I see. Perhaps maybe Crocodile would like to join team? I love me some Crocodile. He's one of favorite Pokemons. Intimidate. Oh, Inner Focus was not lowered. Or Inner Focus was not letting the attack get lowered. Let's see here now. X. Let's throw a quick ball. Come on, baby. Come on, Cub Fu. Intimidate the crap out of him. Counter Intimidate. One. Two. Oh, no, 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 I can't do it. Now I'm going to kill him, because if I hit him, he dies. He's got Outrage, though, but that's fine. Oh, no, Outrage is strong. Oh, critical hit, that's fine. But, yeah, I I think in order to sort of take down the way... Yeah, I guess we'll just hit close combat. It'll kill him, but that's fine. I think to take down, like, the, the effectiveness of Intimidate, because Intimidate is, like, one of the staple abilities that people usually take for, like, competitive Pokemon. I think in order to make it a little bit better, like, a little bit more balanced, if at all possible, would be that if you have a... Because it, it goes in the spirit of, of what intimidating people would do as well, right? If you try and intimidate someone and their attack doesn't get lowered, your attack should get lowered. I'm not saying... Oh, Chansey! I already got a Chansey, though. I already picked a Chansey up. So we don't need it. But yeah, that's just... I mean, because Intimidate is usually a really good thing that a lot of people take. Scyther? Oh, I love me a Scythe boy. That a lot of people take, like, for Intimidate. You know, because it's really good. You throw your Pokemon out, it lowers their stage by... You know, it lowers their attack stages. So, instantly, you get into a really good place for... Um, like, setting up and stuff, right? They're either, they'll either be forced to switch out or... Um... They'll just have to take the damage loss, right? But it since it works no matter what, unless you have an ability that stops it, it should be that if you try and intimidate an opponent and they resist it, you should get intimidated because that would be very intimidating, you know? It would be a very intimidating to, for you to try and be like, ah, I'm, I'm better than you, I'm bigger, ha! And then they go, no. And then you're like, ah! Uh! And, then, you know, you get, you get shocked. You get shocked in return that you're... Your overwhelming strength was not recognized. Yo, what's up, dog? Oh, yeah, we haven't even gone up to the shrine yet, but that's fine. Hi there, beef. You've got to see the view from here. Come on. We will. Yes, we will. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, <laughs> just, ah. Uh. I love how it's the same face every time. And then he's like, ready? I like it. I love. This place is great. You're not the best of friends. You're damn, I mean, we were already the best of friends. Don't try to pretend you know my relationship with my boy. What's up, Heracross? How you doing, love? Yeah, we never actually went, like, up here, up here. What kind of pocket mons up in this big old well, shall we? Oh, there's a Diggy Dig boy. Gotta, gotta get the Diggy Dig boy. Diggy Dig! Three more Diglet on Challenge Road. 2,000 watts, and... Oh, that's a, uh, the Woo Bat, or the Swoo Bat. Because you swoon when you see the bat. Now, there's a lot of little nuggets on the ground that could be little Diggy Boys. But I'm thinking the Diggy Boy is actually over here. Underneath this transparent rock. See, I told you. Underneath the transparent rock, there lies a Diggy Boy. Diasa? He's like, Diasa! How's that, how's that a Diggy Boy? Are they, are they able to say things other than their names now? Is it true they're learning? We're going to take a peek up here. 
for more diggy boys. That's the last one on the challenge road, right? D Chan. Oh, one more diglet. Yeah, it's probably around here, around the back. Oh, 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 he found throat chop. Oh, yes. I love me some chopping throats. That's so good. And there's a thing back here? Damn. Never would have guessed. Black glasses? Ooh. I like the black glasses. Now, where's the diggy boy? There's, there should have been a diggy boy back here. Come on. There's always a diggy boy in places like that. I mean, you know, they, they'd be too close together, but, you know, I'd still count it. This is the Tower of Darkness. You are not yet ready to climb this tower. Leave this place. Uh... As I prance down these stairs, I'm going to tell you that you have no goddamn idea who you're talking to, kid. Don't ever underestimate my power of me and my 151 diglets that I will steal from that man and then use to win everything back. Let's see here now. We uh, There should be like another diglet down here, maybe. I don't know if we've checked down here for diglets. I know we did a little bit of exploring before. Oh, there's the mean Xiao, the, or the mine few. The mine few. But where's the last place we need to go, actually? Oh, it's in Brawler's Cave. Okay. Look at that. I'm surprised the forest isn't a place we have to go. Brawler's Cave. With all the Whismer. And the x loud Because he's extra plowed. Moonstones? Oh, man. This game's just giving me so many moonstones. That was a very pale-looking, uh, licky tongue. Oh, it's because of the light. Okay, it was the light hitting him. Got it. Yo, is that an Azumarill? That's pretty dope. He's bouncing on his tail, having a good time. We won't bug him, then. We won't bug him. We'll just let him be a bouncy little baby boy. Or not a Azumarill. Azurill. Sorry. Their names are so close. Yet so far. There's what? Azuril, Meryl, and then Azumarill? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I think they are. That's what I think they are. I think that's their evolution line. I'm pretty sure. Like, I'm like a Pokemon master now, so... I'm pretty sure I know what I'm talking about. Where's the guy I'm supposed to talk to? Oh, there he is! I thought there was a Pokemon on the rock, but it was his hairdo. <laughs> Hi there, Beef. You got the view from here. Yeah, we'll do it. Me and Cub Fu will learn the great arts of fishnet stockings and jumping up and down with our hands in the air. Just, ah. Oh. I love it. My chi is at maximum flow. Are now best friends. We're already best friends. Why do... There were, there were, they didn't program four different dialogues, really. Now let's go back to see the master. Let's go back to see Mustard. Oh, I get it now. I get it now. Their names are a pun on honey mustard. Oh, it took me too long to get that. <laughs> oh, I feel dumb. Yeah, I'll just fly there. I don't care. I'm lazy. I just realized I'm like, wait, his name is Mustard. And I'm like, her name's Honey. I'm like, what kind of food pun is that? Because it's not ketchup. And I'm like, oh, Honey Mustard. Ah, <laughs> Made me almost rage. Just a little more than usual. Master Dojo. Oh! Mm, if only someone uh, could um, uh, talk to me about my husband. No, but who would gather that many? Oh, God. No, who would do it? Let me heal up my Pokemon first. So it feels like I've had water in my ear all day. I know that seems like a random thought, but it's because my ear keeps like having like a little bubble in it. But it, it, it feels like there's water in it, but there should be no water in my ear. Like, I haven't got water in my ear all day, so I don't know why it's there. <laughs> well, let's talk to Honey, shall we? Let's see. Oh, Beef, just the person I wanted to see. Tell me. Do you collect wats? Uh, sure do. Of course you do. You're such a pro at all this, Beef. I'll have you know that the wat business is positively booming now around here. They say that those who hold the most watts hold the key to success. I've actually been trying to gather up watts to spruce up the dojo a bit, get some more gear. But both my darling hubby and my son are more the indoor types, you know? And it's pretty hard for me to collect that many watts all on my own. If you ever happen to have some watts to spare, 
Be, be glad I'll take them. Or be glad I'll take Yeah, be glad I'll take them, damn it. <laughs> they're useless to you, but they're valuable to me. So be glad I'm taking them off your hands. <laughs> oh, but I wouldn't ask you to give them to me and not get anything in return. This would be a business transaction, of course. <laughs> I'll reward you for your generosity, eh, dear strong bid. <laughs> Whenever you have some extra watts, simply come and talk to me. All right, let's do it. Uh, I'm here to spend some watts. How many watts can you bear to part with? Uh, ten grand. You'll give us ten thousand! Holy Jesus, you must be rich! Alright. With over five thousand watts, I can afford to have a hairstylist come work here at the dojo, too. Nice. nice -o. nice -o. Hello, hello, is this the hair salon? Yes, this is Honey from the Master Dojo. I was wondering if you could spare a stylist to come enjoy the lovely island life with us. Yes, that's right, the Isle of Armor. Mm-hmm, yup, yup, mm-hmm. You know, the only place <laughs> that's out there to the east of the sea. They're sending someone right over. What? Hold on. They're, they're going to live in there? In the bathroom? Hello, Dojo. It's lovely to meet you all. I'm your new hairstylist. But I can't bear all the secret arts of hairstyling to you all. So when you'd like to have something done, please come see me in this room here. No cameras allowed. And no speaking of what you see inside this room. Weird. Okay. Odd. Now that's a real pro. True masters are always picky about their craft. <laughs> but now we can see, but now we can always look our best, even out here in the wilds. All right. And since we got the 10,000, we can, I can order a Rotami terminal for the dojo. Nice. A Rotami terminal. That means this whole place is basically just gonna be the best. Hello, hello. It's a master dojo. I'd like to buy one of your Rotami terminals for some watts. What do you, what do you say? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Send it right over. Oh, look at him. He's right in the wall there. We were able to make a deal, and I got them to send it right over at once. Man, what Amazon company do they have here? Because, like, same-day delivery is dope. Though, hmm, this doesn't look quite right. There's something written on the screen here. Now, let me see. Thank you for your purchase. To get your new Rotami up and running, you must first install our proprietary software. To order a copy today, contact our sales department at, uh, what? <laughs> They're simply trying to gouge us for more watts of all the greedy, conniving business practices. I'm awfully sorry about this beef, but it looks like you're going to need to spend more money. Yeah, all right, let's spend more watts, shall we? Let's see what we can get. 50 grand. Let's do it. You'll give us 50,000? Yes. Well, beef, you've given us 60,000 so far. And now that we've collected 20,000, we can finally get the Rotami up and running. Don't you know? Hello, hello, is this the Pokemon Center? Honey from the Master Dojo again. Yes, again, fancy that. We ordered a Rotami from you a little while back. Yes, yes, it does look lovely, but we'd rather prefer it to actually work, too. Mm-hmm, could you send something right over? We're gonna have a sales associate install the software, and then we're gonna need the upgrade, the, the firmware, and it's gonna cost 800 million bits. Now that's taken care of, let's fire it up. Pleased to greet you, Ms. Honey. Rotami at your service, Ms. And I am delighted to hear it. I'm sure you'll be worth every last watt you've cost us. In fact, we'll make sure of it. Everybody use this damn machine until it breaks. <laughs> Get the most use out of it, because it was goddamn expensive. So be sure to use it plenty. See, look, I told you. And now that we've blown past 30,000, we can get a vending machine for the dojo, too. God, I hope this thing just is a vending machine and doesn't have 900 things wrong with it. Is this Macro Cosmos Living? Yes, this is Honey over at the Master Dojo. I was just wondering if we could get one of your lovely vending machines over here at our dojo. Yes, yes, that's right, of course. <laughs> I'll be here all day from noon to noon the next day. I never leave. <laughs> glug, glug, glug. Ah, there is some refreshing water. So refreshing that I say glug, glug out loud. <laughs> We're able to offer the drinks at far less than the usual asking price, so I'd get all your drinks from here from now on if I were you. We've only got fresh water in stock so far, but the dojo services are really getting robust. With some more watts, I can expand the lineup even further, too. 40,000! We can stock soda pop in the vending machine. Really? Do we, do we need to go through this all, all the time? <laughs> For soda pop, really? Is she glug, glug? Oh, no. Gulp, gulp, gulp. Ah, lovely. I love me a soda pop. Now we don't have to leave the dojo for some. Look at all these delicious bottles of different paps. Hit 50,000, I can order some lemonade. 
All right, honey. We're, we're, come on. Come on, girl. We get it. We get it. We get it. You love your beverages. <laughs> you are thirsty. You are going to have to pee so much. So much peeing. All right. Now let's, let's give her more watts. Here, let's see. Let's see. I'd like to share more watts. How many? 100,000? I don't have 100,000. All my watts. Take them. Take all my watts. 130,000 so far. 100,000? I think I can arrange for regular deliveries of fresh ingredients to come here to the dojo. Oh, that means we can get uh, a dude who sells stuff. Pull off a swift new contract. Uh, fresh ingredients delivered to the dojo each day. You can pick within reason, of course. Silly sausage. Uh, with all these extra watts, I wonder if people are getting nutritious drinks from the vending machine, too. All right. So it looks like we got, like, food and stuff. Now, I can easily just go and give, like, the armorite ore to the guy and get, like, a bunch of stuff. But we can do that on the next episode. I, I'm going to go to Dig and Paw and have him do all that while I'm uh, off screen. And then on the next uh, episode, what we're going to do is we're going to talk to uh, What's-His-Face, the master. And we are going to go ahead and get him to uh, talk to about our cub foo. See if that's uh, something he would enjoy maybe evolving for us because we have la friendship. But yeah, I'm going to do some Dig and Paw off screen, and we'll see you all in the next episode. But once again, thank you all for joining me here on another episode of Pokemon Shield, Isle of Armor DLC here on the channel. And until next time, please take care, everybody.